<clears throat> Hello? Is this Studio A in New York City? No. I'm really standing in a small announce booth on 43rd Street. You know, I really thought I was back in Studio A. Reality can be deceiving. But at Chesky Records, we take audio reality very seriously. We recognize that sonic reality is the art of capturing beautiful music in beautiful spaces and reproducing music as naturally as possible. However, sometimes reality appears duller than the artificial. While I've been speaking, the engineers have been transforming my voice from a sterile monophonic environment to an artificially generated stereo environment. That's right, artificial stereo. Turn it off, Bob. Okay, now we're back to hearing my voice in glorious mono, just the way it was recorded in this little room. Honestly, which did you prefer, the artificial or the natural sound? For the rest of this CD, we'll be playing with this musical theme. Bob, turn on the artificial stereo. I think I like it better. For our first demonstration, let's explore the reproduction of space in music. Here's a woodwind recording made with one mono microphone. <laughs> The recording engineer not only decides what kinds of microphones to use and where to place them, but also where to place the performers. Here's a piano located against the wall of the studio. Chesky Records is dedicated to capturing natural acoustic space, but we always keep our ear to advances in artificial enhancement. Let's try an experiment, and you'll be the judge. Let's see if we can create a convincing artificial space. Now this drum set was recorded on the stage at Studio A with the curtains closed.
pretty interesting. Which do you prefer, the natural or the artificial reverberation? Digital techniques are advancing every day. Now that's David Chesky in the live studio with a Tom Tom drum. David, play the drum front and center. Good, good. Now move to the left. Fine, okay, move to the right. Fine. Give me extreme right. Now extreme left. Great. Now, David, can you run around the mic in a circle? David is now going to hit the tom-tom inside the drum booth. Show us what it sounds like without any effect, David. Hmm, dry. Front and center, totally monophonic and, I might add, totally boring. Now, let's try an experiment in artificial imaging and artificial space. First, equalize the signal to reduce the resonance of the drum booth. Now, add a little reverb so we can simulate the sound of the authentic space. Now let's pass the sound through a digital three-dimensional image processor. Move the sound to the left. To the right. Extreme left. Extreme right. Okay, now spin it all around me. I'm impressed. But please stop, I'm getting dizzy. So, how does the artificial process compare with the natural? At Chesky, we also believe in capturing natural dynamic range without any compression. I can shout, or I can whisper. These are the dynamics of real music, from the softest sounds to the loudest transients. Now, let's go back and add artificial compression to my voice. The same compression they use on radio, TV, films, and unfortunately many popular compact discs. I can shout, or I can whisper. These are the dynamics of real music, from the softest sounds to the loudest transients. Compression reduces dynamic range. Sound has no life. I guess that's okay if you don't like surprises. Here's a jazz group recorded with compression. Lately, everybody's been talking about 20-bit recording. In 1988, we built the world's first practical 20-bit A to D converter. Our Mark IV A to D has even more resolution and transparency. 
And now, our high-resolution dithering technique allows us to bring the full benefits of 20-bit recording into your home. What is dither? Dither unveils the lowest levels of music and the subtle decays and ambience present in that music. Let's take this piece of music, drop it 60 dB, then raise it 60 dB. This is what happens when digital audio is not dithered. Without dither, Subtle ambience, fade-outs, and stereophonic cues can disappear completely. Let's add standard dither to this test piece of music. Ah, we're starting to get some of the music back. But what's all that hiss? Our new high-resolution technology allows us to hear all the music at the lowest levels with minimal noise. Here's the same piece of music, lowered 60 dB with high resolution dither, then amplified 60 dB for this demonstration. With our high resolution dither, even the lowest levels of music can be reproduced cleanly. Pretty remarkable. The remainder of this CD contains more tests and demonstrations. We hope you've enjoyed this sampler from Chesky Records. We're working hard to bring you even better sounding recordings in the future. Warning, the following tests are recorded at low level. Be sure to turn your volume control down to normal after the tests.
depth test, five feet. This test is designed to see if microphones can hear changes in height of a source. I am now going to play the shaker three feet in front of the microphone, starting from the floor, going towards the ceiling. When I reach directly on axis in front of the microphone, I will say middle and keep continuing till I'm four feet above the capsule. Middle. Four feet above the capsule. Thank you. 
something with bulbs, light bulbs. I'm not sure. It's down one of those, but I'm fairly new. Okay. Can I ask this gentleman down here? Okay. Thanks.